NIT Nagaland. How is the campus like? What is the return on investment? How high goes the cutoff? What is the future of CSE here? If you are also skeptical about NIT Nagaland, then don't worry, you have come to the right place. Hey everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. And to get all the answers to all your queries related to NIT Nagaland, campus, placement, fee structure, cutoff, and a lot more, do watch this video till the end. NIT Nagaland, an institute of national importance, is a higher education technical institute located in Dimapur, Nagaland. It is one among the 10 newly approved NITs by the Government of India in 2009. It started its functioning in the academic year 2010. NIT Nagaland is awarded a rank band of 201 to 250 by NIRF 2023. Let's have a look at its wonderful campus. Initially, for two years, NIT Nagaland functioned from the campus of NIT Silchar and was later shifted to its permanent campus in the year 2012. This new campus is spread over an area of 291 acres, providing all the basic facilities to its students that includes Central Library, Data Centre Department, Hostels for Boys and Girls, Centre for Sports, Bank and ATM, Medical Unit and a Post Office. With 203 BTEC seats available, the NIT specializes mainly in six branches of engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electronics and instrumentation engineering, and mechanical engineering. And to get admission in one of these courses, the criteria for admission is same in all the NITs. As the candidates seeking admission in one of the courses need to qualify, first of all, the joint entrance exam, J main, and secondly, pass class class 12 board examination with science stream. 75% is the required percentage for general category students and 65 is the required percentage for STSC and PWD candidates. Further, the students need to register for JOSA counselling based on the marks secured in their J main. Uh, thereafter, the students will get all their documents verified and pay the required fees. For foreign students, they get selected through DASA and ICCR schemes. Talking about the fee structure now. See the total fee that comprises admission charges, tuition and institutional fee, hostel and mess charges. So the total fee for the entire 4 years BTEC program from NIT Nagaland comes around 7.5 lakh. Here is the consolidated fee structure. You can pause the video or take a screenshot. Coming on to the fee waivers now. Yes, the NIT provide various fee waivers such as 100% tuition fee waiver to its ST, SC or PWD category students for remission of the tuition fee to all the general and OBC students whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum. Two-third of the remission of the tuition fee to all the general and OBC category students whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. Along with this, the NIT offers various scholarship schemes to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. You can visit the official website and get the detailed information on various scholarships offered and the eligibility criteria for the same. The link is given in the description. Moving on to the placements now. See, the placement statistics for the current year hasn't been uploaded on the official website. So we are going to rely and conclude the placement rate based on the available data for the session 2021 and 2022. According to the placement statistics 2021-22, 14.08% students were placed in the civil engineering branch, where 16.9% from the CSE branch, 14.08% students from Triple E and ECE branch were placed. Now, maximum, which was 22.53% students from mechanical engineering and 18.31% from EIE branch were placed placed with the highest package drawn from CSE branch that was 45 lakh per annum and median package was 8 lakh per annum. So if you are comparing the NIT with the tier 1 and tier 2 NITs then yes the placement rate is quite low. On the other hand, if we compare the growth of NIT with its past year's growth, that is, in the year 2019, the highest package drawn was 11 LPA and the median package was 5.3 LPA. So we can conclude that the NIT is gradually improving and growing. Cut off 2023. Like all the NITs, the seats at NIT Nagaland are also reserved 50% for the home state candidates and remaining 50% for other states candidates as the only available data on the official website is for other states. So let's have a look at the NIT Nagaland Cutoff 2023. You can see the branch-wise rank cutoff after the sixth round of JOSA counselling. Thereafter, there is one more round conducted by CSAP. 
For the civil engineering branch first, the rank started at 55,663 and stopped at 57,852. For computer science and engineering, the rank shows that other states candidates made it to this branch with 30,401 rank also. Electrical and electronics engineering, the rank started at 42,259 and closed at 47,930. Electronics and Communication Engineering branch, the rank cutoff started at 31,283 and went up to 40,671. For Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, the rank started at 43,420 and closed at 49,013. Mechanical Engineering, the rank cutoff for this branch started at 50,607 and stopped at 53,747. For more information about NIT Nagaland Cutoff 2023, that is for different categories like ST, SC, EWS or for girls candidate, do visit the link given in the description. Time and again, the NIT conducts various events for the overall development and growth of its students. The events that include sports events, literary events, technical events such as Simulator 1.0, Gaming 1.0 and Science of Deduction. And the other events such as Ikarikthin, which is the annual techno-cultural festival of NIT Nagaland. It provides a platform to young, nurturing, talented youth to showcase their talents in various cultures and technical events. If you believe the students' review given on the various trusted website, then the future in the CSC branch from NIT Nagaland is bright indeed. As stated by the student that in the year 2024, almost 90% of the students got placed particularly in this branch. Not necessarily from the campus though. Which means you'll have to make some efforts or if I may say a lot of of your own. First of all, for getting a respectable CGPA. Secondly, for the placements of course. Overall, the faculty, particularly in this branch, the CAC branch, is well-trained and qualified and supportive throughout. Rest of the call is all yours as this was all from me today. Now you let me know in the comment section what did you like the most about NIT Nagaland. And yes, do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.